Hey crafty friends, welcome to Saturday Extravaganza. This is Zainat Kessler and today I'm creating an assemblage canvas. This is a type of canvas when you add all sorts of found items that you have in 3D shapes and um, in different textures and you just create an assemblage on your canvas. This is a 6x6 canvas and I'm going to start with the background. I have here some artist big brush artist pens. I really like to use them. They are uh, very versatile and basically what I'm doing I'm just painting over the canvas and rubbing it with my finger. Now as long as the ink is wet you can still rub it and smear it and create shadows and things like that and once it's dry then it's permanent so that's a really fun um, fun tool to work with uh, if your fingers are not wet enough then you can just wet them a little bit with a baby wipe or you can don't use the baby wipe on the pen itself because that will just wipe it out now um, if you try to work with it on a plain paper or a chipboard or cardstock uh, it will behave like a regular pen so it needs some kind of a base like a gel medium or gesso or something like that or Mod Podge to have the ability to stay a little bit wet because once it's on a paper then the fibers of the paper absorbs it immediately and then it basically dries and then you lose that ability to uh, rub it with your fingers smear it and you know do it, the same things I'm doing with it right now but once you have a sealer like gesso or Mod Podge or gel medium or something like that or paint even like acrylic paint then it will work because it seals the the surface that you're working on and interrupts with the ability to be to absorb the ink I hope that made sense so I'm working with a few colors here adding them uh, to my canvas uh, including of course never forget your edges your side edges and I'm working in straight lines because I want that effect on my canvas so once I'm adding a color I'm not adding it in a circular motion or just in any motion but in a straight line and my motion is right to left or top to bottom so I can keep this straight effect and I'm using a baby wipe to wet my fingers so the smearing will be easier and you just keep on adding color until you're happy with the result and Just keep on going and the colors I'm using are actually I didn't write them on my supply list but the color I'm using is um, green gold I'm just reading right now from the pen light yellow glaze terracotta scarlet red and Kaput Mortem. So once everything is finished, just heat set it with your heat tool. And now it's dry and ready to go ahead to the next step. So I'm just adding a piece of uh, old measuring tape that I have with some gel medium to the bottom of my canvas. And again, I started explaining this before an assemblage canvas is basically uh, taking found items that you have whatever items that you have by the way it can be toys it can be flowers it can be metal embellishments it can be household items whatever it is that you have 
and you just create a work of art on your canvas with all those different things it doesn't have to make sense it doesn't have to be a realistic something it can it's a work of art so it should say something to you so I'm just going over the edges with my artist pen here creating a little bit of a shadow and adding some color on it as well now since this paper is um, it's a measuring tape so it has a sort of a glaze on it it's not just a plain paper then that effect of <coughs> excuse me of smearing is still working if it was just plain paper like I said before then it would not have worked so drying everything with my heat tool don't forget to do that it's very important to set the paint and I'm adding just a little tiny bit of color of extra color with my um, distress ink photo vintage distress ink very subtle just to add a little bit more dimension now I'm going to uh, paint some chipboard wings that I have now this chipboard is not treated so you see once I'm drying it with the same paint and I'm trying to smear it and have that same effect like I did on the canvas it's not working because the fibers of the chipboard absorb all the ink and it works like a regular marker like a regular pen so I hope now you can see the difference and that makes sense what I've expl explained before so I'm just drying it with a brown color I'm gonna go over it with an orange one just to have more color and you know more dimension to the color more depth and what I'm gonna do with the wings I'm going to add some crackle medium on it now basically you need to wait once you use crackle you need to wait for it to dry like two three hours um, I don't have the patience to wait that long so I'm just gonna try it with my um, with my heat tool which obviously is not going to have the same effect as waiting but it's good enough for me I just want to add a little bit of Inca gold paste uh, on that dried crackle and then just have that effect of two-tone color with the gold and the brown under it it crackled enough for me if you want it to, ha to, to have a um, a more definite effect that you should wait that two hours that is written on the bottle now I have here some metal pieces that I want to add some color to and I'm gonna do that with um, alcohol inks which are great for adding color to metal uh, in case in case you didn't know um, I'm just gonna add a few drops from two colors just spread them around and then I'm gonna add another color and then I'm gonna go in with a baby wipe a bluish this is kind of a blue very very dark blue it's almost black and now with the baby wipe I'm just gonna mix them together and have a subtle color on my metal on the outside as well there's still so much on the baby wipe that it still goes can go on the outside as well and the good thing about it is that it just dries very quickly and stays there so the same colors I'm going to add on this large half cog wheel that I have here and look at that effect drop look how it spreads 
because there is a layer of alcohol ink already look at that I love that this is cool and there is that wetness of the baby wipe so when you add a drop this is what it does so I'm starting my <coughs> excuse me today my my voice is a little bit hoarse so I'm using E6000 which is a very strong industrial glue uh, because I have a little bit of heavy 3D stuff to add to my canvas and I want them to stay there and not fall off it and the thing about this glue is that it takes a little bit longer to dry so that's very cool because if you still need to move things around your canvas then it's still um, wet and you can just change your mind before it dries so I'm adding stuff to my canvas uh, I just cut the back side of a button with my scissors it had a loop so since it's plastic you can cut it very easily and I'm adding a key just some found items that you know that I have in my treasure box all kinds of metal stuff and boxes and whatever I'm just all toys parts all jewelry parts uh, I'm trying to cut this one off but that doesn't work very well because it's metal and it's you need metal scissors which I have but I'm not gonna bring them I'm just gonna leave this like that on a canvas you don't care if things are 3d because you don't need to close it's not like an art journal or a scrapbook page so they can be as thick as you want them to so I'm going to go over the edges of my canvas here with some dark brown artist pen just to have a nice frame around it wetting my fingers with my baby wipe because they're too dry and usually when you create an assemblage uh, I've changed my mind by the way I'm gonna remove this button and I'm gonna put in a little lamp a little light bulb not a lamp a light bulb this is what you would use in your car so as I started to say when you create an assemblage canvas you usually don't write anything on it it's not like an art journal or a mixed media canvas it's just a piece of art that doesn't need any words of course you can add words if you want to but I'm just gonna leave this as it is and I just want to add a little something more to the background so just tracing the crackle medium bottle for a circle shape and adding a little bit of dimension with other pens just to have something extra on my background and to contradict the straight lines so now there are circles makes it a little bit more interesting I'm going to add one down here as well and going with an orange and don't forget to heat set it because once it's dry it becomes permanent but if it's not dry you can still <laughs> smear it and use your fingers like we did in the beginning So basically I'm happy now I'm gonna dry everything just adding a few more lines 
my fingers are not wet enough so okay now it's working I think I'm happy with this result of course you can do it in a larger scale if you use a larger canvas but I just wanted it to be small to give you an idea of what an assemblage canvas looks like or what an assemblage piece look like by the way it doesn't have to be on canvas it can be wherever you want it to be um, I did mine on canvas so I hope you were inspired and thank you very much for joining me and I appreciate all your love and support we'll we are already at seven more than seven thousand subbies so thank you guys you rock I love you I'll see you all next week have a great weekend bye